Hello, everybody. Hello, Facebook world. Um, welcome to the New Lenox Public Library. My name is Michelle Kroswick. I am the director here, and I'm so excited you are here today. We're going to be taking a tour around the library. And first off, I just want to introduce who else is here. Um, we have Channel 6 filming with us as well. Say hello. Hi. <laughs> we have Ashley, our digital media lab assistant. And behind the camera, is Liz Hi Wetmore. Guys. You'll see more of her <laughs> later. Yes. So this is a first for us. So yes. if there's some things going on, we'll just have to deal with them and have fun with them. So welcome again to the New Lenox Public Library. This building has been here for about 15 years and we are on the commons next to our neighbors, the Village Hall, Police Station and Trinity Services. So I'm trying to do two cameras. All right. Um, so we're going to go to the lobby real quick and start out there. If you can't make it to our library's physical location, we always welcome you to visit us online as well as our homebound service. So if you're physically unable to make it to the library, we can go ahead and have books sent to your home. If you want more information about that, visit our website or talk to our adult services department. All right, let's go into the lobby. So we actually have two entrances here at the library. The east entrance is on the commons. And a lot of people don't know that we actually have a west entrance and plenty of more parking. So if you can't find spots on the commons, find some parking spaces on the west side. Nice big parking lot. Also more handicap accessible spaces as well. In that vestibule there, we also have the cafe. Debbie, the owner of Just For You Cafe, has wonderful sandwiches. She has great drinks and soft serve ice cream for those hot summer days, as well as my favorite, her brownies. Um, I know, personally, I enjoy smelling them when she's baking them. They waft throughout the library, which is pretty yummy. We also have our meeting room here. This is where a lot of the fun action in the library happens. So come on in, guys. I'll come behind you. So right now the room is divided in half. We have a whole other side. So we have a meeting room A and a meeting room B. So you can go ahead and rent these rooms. This is where a lot of the programs happen here, especially for summer reading. So there's a projector and a laptop that you can use for your next event. So, all right, that's our meeting room. Come on around this way. We also have some of our prizes for the summer reading program for the kids. So as you can see here, we've got a drawing kit, um, a free certificate to the Curtain Call Theater, some building blocks, those look like a lot of fun, some horseshoes. So we'll talk more about the summer reading program as we go to the kids section. So come on this way. All right. So many of you have probably been in this part of the library because this is the circulation department. We check out books here. You can return your books. Any of our friendly circulation staff can help you with checking in, checking out. If you're in a hurry, we do have our self-check. So if you'd like to pick up a book, hurry up and check out. It's off right now because we're closed. You can check yourself out here. Also, this is where we have faxing services. So if you need to fax something, come visit our staff here. They'll be more than happy to help you out. Now, if you've placed a hold with our library, they're going to show up here. So we'll notify you once they're available. You pick them up. And like I said, you can use the self-check or you can check it out with our circulation staff. Let me check my notes. There's so much to cover. I want to make sure I'm getting everything. Yep, I think that's about it. All right, before we head to the kids department, I want to show you guys the new release section. This is a fairly new part of our library. Watch out, Ashley, I don't want to run you over. Awesome. We have all the newest releases in books, audiobooks, fiction, nonfiction, and DVDs. So make sure to check that out the next time you're in. It's the newest stuff we have, and I'm sure you're, you will enjoy it. All right, and then one more thing. We do have the Friends of the Library book sale in this room here. You're more than welcome to take a peek. And while you're doing that, I do want to mention that we currently have a sale going on for buy one, get one free on paperbacks. Plenty of great titles to choose from, all have been donated to our library. All right, are you there, Liz? Gotcha. All right, <laughs> hopefully we're not making everyone out there dizzy. Okay, so that's pretty much what's up in the front. And like I said, I think that's all right here. 
All right, now we're going to go on back to the kids section. So the rest of the first floor of the library is the kids department. I will point out we have elevators here, so if you need to get upstairs, you can use one elevator. We don't have multiple, one elevator. Um, restrooms also here. And then we have um, the kids department. So if you need help with anything, our amazing youth services staff will be more than happy to help you out. You can also sign up for summer reading. We have a lot of our great teen volunteers help us out, register everyone for summer reading and hand out prizes. So they're a huge help during the summer. And then like I said, if you want help on anything, finding a book, finding that next perfect read, next comic book, or um, maybe a DVD or anything like that, they're more than happy to help you out. All right, so let's see here. <laughs> You'll also notice our decorations. So as I mentioned before, our teen volunteers help us register for the summer reading program. You'll notice we have a theme of that steampunk feel, and that's because we're doing reading by design. So both the adult teens and kids are kind of focusing on that theme, that steam, that STEM idea of science and experimenting and having fun. So that's what the library is all about, is lifelong learning too. We also have printers on the other side of this column here that you can print from. So if your, your computer at home breaks down, come on over and print out your stuff if you need to. All right. Now if you are at home, we do have resources available for you. I'm over here. <laughs> we do have resources available for you, such as tumble books, so anim animated storybooks or even culture grams. You can go online, learn about cultures from around the world, find recipe, high quality videos and photographs. It's a lot of fun. All right, so we're gonna take a venture pass down here past the hot air balloon, and we're gonna show you our story time room. Now, while I'm walking that way and trying not to run into anything, um, I wanna point out our guide. So every, every, uh, fall, spring, and summer, we come out with a guide. It has all of our programs in there for adults, teens, and kids, and also features our story times. So some of our story times and programs occur in our story time room, which is where we're heading. So as you can see, we have plenty of books and DVDs and nonfiction books and audiobooks. And here's some of our DVDs here that you could take on vacation. Maybe you're going on vacation this summer. You could take some of those with you. Or maybe an audiobook. You're going on a road trip. You can try one of those. That's a really great option, too. So we made it back to our story time room. It's a great little place that we have a lot of our kids' programs. And looks like they're starting to set up for some of our programs today. So we've got some great murals in the wall, and it's a lot where a lot of the fun kids' stuff happens. Gave you a 360 tour of our storybook. Perfect. Thank you, Liz. Beautiful. All right. So one more thing I do want to show you. Well, actually, there's two more. I lied. Uh, one more thing I want to show you is uh, our tree back here. So we have in our kids section that has a lot of our picture books for our younger patrons. We have a wonderful tree. So if you're worried about the rain or the bugs, come on in and sit under our tree and have some fun. So we've got a lot of our storybooks. We have puzzles here. So parents, if your kids need to let off some energy or whatnot, it's raining or too hot outside, we've got toys for them to play with, puzzles, and books to read. So, and then that's our lovely tree. And you can see we've got some surprise friends up hanging out up there. <laughs> Mr. Toucan and all those. All right. So. Before I hand it over to Liz behind the camera, I'm gonna walk you guys over to our newest feature of the kids department, is our maker space. So you might know that we have a digital media lab upstairs, which we'll get to in a little bit. So the kids department, or youth service department, has recently installed a maker space. So that focuses on some typical fun stuff that you can do at home, or maybe some technological stuff. So I'll show you here. We've repainted the wall, installed some new lights. And as you can see, we've got, oh, this is so much fun, the Lego board. I know I probably want one of these in my house, but my husband probably wouldn't agree. That's a lot of fun. We talk about how to play around with um, the science program of creating and planning and trying new things. You also see here we've got some magnetic this is really fun so it's the gears and the magnets so these will always change too 
Looks like we've got magnetic poetry too, which is great. And each of our youth services staff made all these letters for the makerspace, which I think is pretty cool. So everyone got to decorate a letter. So these um, features will change throughout the summer and the year, so always check back with us and see what new things have developed. All right. Now we are also going to have um, maker kits, so different kind of um, circuitry kits or uh, different like making, designing, building toys that you can come and sit and learn how you know, electricity works or how, um, how to build bridges so that they're strong. Um, and just a lot of different really neat stuff that I think currently the youth services staff are playing with in their office right now. So that's why it's not out here. <laughs> oh, that's true. Yeah. I'll tell you. No. They I gotta, think we're going to have practice with it first too. Yeah. to make sure right. know they, how them, they know how to use them. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely, exactly. absolutely. So, yeah, in the upcoming months, we have a lot of new things happening in this makerspace. So make sure you come out, check it out. It's going to be a really fun time. And we're also doing some multiple programs in this area mm -hmm. that are for the summer. So so check out our guide because that has all our programs in it and I know they're doing some special things for this makerspace. Sounds like so much fun. Thank you for mentioning yeah. that Ashley because I know it's so new I don't know a lot about it myself right. so I'm excited to see what comes out of it. All right again we've got more of our decorations for summer reading and then next we're gonna make our way upstairs so let's go on that way. Oh we also have board games that you can play here at the library. I know the triple play concert last Saturday, people were inside the library um, because of the rain delay and the lightning and thunder. And I, I know there were a lot of people using these board games um, while they were waiting for the, the concert to start up again. So it's, it's not just for, for kids. <laughs> all right. We all like games. We all like games. Right. All right. We are gonna, we're gonna do a little switcheroo switch here. Off. Now, me and Ashley are gonna take over and we're gonna hand the camera all to right. the Ta-da. So we're going to head upstairs and Ashley's going to help me. She works in adult services so she knows all about everything. I work in the marketing and the graphics department so I'll tell you about some of the promotions that we have going on. So as we head upstairs I'm going to talk about summer reading. Everyone thinks summer reading is just for kids. It's not just for kids. It's for adults too. So adults and teens you'll come up here to register for summer reading and you say but I'm not an avid reader. You don't have to be. We have a challenge going on. So there's multiple different things that you can do besides reading, right, Ashley? I mean, it's a bunch of different things that we have happening at the library. You join the challenge, and every week we have prizes that we're giving away, raffling off to the summer readers that are the adults and teens. And we have one big, huge, great prize at the end. We're giving away a laptop. So you got to enter to win it. So make sure you come upstairs. So Ashley's going to tell us a little more about it. That's the bingo cards. So we've got our cards here. And for every row that you fill out, you get a, entered into the weekly raffle. And everybody gets entered into the grand prize at the end. Now, um, it's a summer challenge, not just reading, because we want to include everybody. Um, we have a lot of different things in the library besides just books as well. We want you to come in and do programming. We want you to check out the digital media lab. We want you to ask us about different things and interact with us. So we're very friendly here. We're not scary, I hope. I know I've got the library in bun, but don't let it fool you. <laughs> and, uh, and we just want everybody to come and participate. Great, so I'm gonna now take you on a little tour of the upstairs, and we're gonna start over here with the computer lab. So this is where you can come. Say you don't have a computer at home or your computer's broken, you can come here, use ours. So we have free Wi-Fi, we have a lot of access to the internet, we also have some programs on it. We have lynda.com. So you're thinking, what's lynda.com? Lynda.com is an online video tutorial where you can learn just about anything, right? I mean, Pretty much. I call it college in a box. Perfect. Anything yeah. from basic computer literacy um, for Windows and Mac. Uh, we do have Windows machines in the first three rows here and Macs in the back row. And up until you can become a video producer. You can learn marketing skills. Microsoft you can Office. Learn, yeah. 
Microsoft Office is Excel, public speaking, um, there's just a interviewing, ton of stuff. resume writing, mm -hmm. almost anything you can think about, you can learn. Yes. And not only can you do it here on our computers, you can also access this at home. And how you do that is you go onto our website, go onto lynda.com, put in your library card, and you have full access to the entire Linda Library, which it's, is over 3,000 videos. It is, so. and if you have a hard time finding lynda.com on our website, it's under Books, Services, and More, Homework Help. You sign up using your full library card number, and your PIN is the last four digits if you haven't changed it, and then you'll just need your email address, and you're good to go. If you struggle with anything, you come up, give us a call to Adult Services, or come up and visit us. The other thing that's great about our computer lab here is we're right here to help you. So if you struggle with Word and you're trying to type a resume and everything is just in the wrong area, we can sit with you and help you. We also have one-on-ones where we can sit down with you on a special project that you're working on for a half an hour or an hour and help you through that. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's a big help. So anybody that wants to continue learning, you can do it here. So we're going to take you now through the rest of the library. Over here we have all our books. Now you're saying, why do we have a lot of empty shelves? Yeah. Well, we're planning a big move at the library. We're building a new teen section for the teens that they're going to have their own private space, they're going to have their own study space, their hangout space. That's all going to be going back towards here. So keep an eye out. It's going to happen this summer. So it should be happening soon. We're in the midst of moving everything right now. So. You're going to come yeah. upstairs, you're going to see a whole new upstairs. So come over here and check it out, right? Yeah. Yes. And thank you for your patience while yes. we're moving everything around. Yes. If you can't find anything again, I'm going to hammer this home. Ask staff. We're always happy to help. Always, yes. So now I'm going to take you this way, and we're going to talk about our study rooms. So we have four study rooms here. You can reserve them up to a week in advance, and you can reserve them for two hours at a time. Um, we also, in our study rooms, we have TVs, we have whiteboards. They're excellent to do webinars, to watch Linda tutorials. Um, you can do your PowerPoints on it. So it's a great way to either study by yourself, study in a group, have peace and quiet. It's, a, it's really an awesome way to have privacy and still be able to talk and everything mm -hmm. within that room. So yeah, We take drop-ins, um, but you can also reserve a study room up to a week in advance if you know that you need it early. We also have proctoring, so especially for those of you who are taking classes online, um, we can do proctoring services for you here and it is free. Awesome. So yeah. come on in and check out our study rooms. So we're going to head down this way and I'm going to show you that this is, um, we have restrooms upstairs. We also have the elevator here. And then over here is our teen section now. This is what's going to be moving. So if you come into the library right now, teens, you'll still head over here. But that will be changing sometime this summer. So we have our whole teen section. Yep. And, and mostly fiction over here. If you're looking for teen nonfiction, that's going to be with the rest of the nonfiction. Okay, good to know. See, yeah. it wasn't, it wasn't up on that. Around. Okay, so I'm going to head back over here to audiobooks. We have a big selection of audiobooks. We have the new release audiobooks downstairs, but upstairs we have all the rest of the audiobooks. So you'll come check out our audiobook section, which we'll be moving as well. That's going to move actually to our old teen section. So that's where we have all our audiobooks. We have, so they're all CDs as well as playaways, which is like, if you remember the old Walkmans, it's like your own little Walkman. You have your own headphones that you hook in and it's great, especially if you're you know, going out and walking the dog or you're on the treadmill. It's, it's um, a good way to kind of keep focused. Also, we have magazines and periodicals, and we have quite the magazine selection Dude. for you. Almost every magazine you could think of, you can come to the library and you can read the magazine. But let's say you can't make it to the library. Well, we have that answer for you, too. If you go online, you can go on to Zinio for Libraries, which is an online magazine that you can download to your mobile device or your computer. And it's all free. You can download it as, any, as many as you want. And they're yours to keep. And all you have to do is go on through our website if you want to direct them like how they find it on their mm -hmm. website. Yep. 
it's going to be under book services and more and then you'll find our ebooks and audiobooks section now zinio is called zinio right now but by the end of the month i believe it's going to be changing to rb digital which is going to um include one click digital that you'll see on our website if you go right now it's, it's going to pull in a few different apps so they haven't made that change yet um, but when they do, if you, if you struggle with it, we're going to put the change on our website. But again, come in and ask staff if you're having any yeah, issues. Yeah, if you definitely are not sure how to download the magazines onto your phone or onto your tablet or computer, come into the library. We'll give you a demonstration of exactly what you need to do. Oh, yeah. You just set up an account, and then it's all yours to constantly download as many magazines as you'd like. We have over 45 of them to choose from, from health to entertainment. Um, cooking we have every magazine you can think of so we've got you set we're going to move now to digital media lab which is, is Ashley's baby so she's going to take it over so this is the digital media lab I'm going to have you guys come and follow me in this room um, we just opened this in June of 2014 it used to host our periodicals but instead we made it into a big creative space you can do a lot of different things in here. The two main things that people come in to use it for is to make creative projects or to digitize and convert old formats to new formats. Um, we were established in 2014, like I said, and it was all fundraised. So if you've come to our spring gala or our um, mini golf in the fall, th that largely has established this lab. Um, and it gave me a job, so thanks, community. <laughs> um, so we're gonna kind of, I'm gonna kind of Vanna White the room a little bit. We've got our two iMacs in here. They have the entire Adobe Creative Cloud on it, and it's Adobe Creative Cloud 2017, so it's got things like Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, um, Premiere Pro for editing movies, Dreamweaver for building websites, um, you can record audio. There's just a ton of stuff to do on here. We also have Camtasia for doing screencasting. So if you're interested in starting um, online instruction, teaching online, we can come in and use our things here. We have cameras and camcorders that you can actually check out for a few days. Um, HD camcorders as well as Canon Rebels. We have a Silhouette Cameo, which is an electronic cutting tool, and a Curio, which does the, if you'll see the metal stippling over there, that's what that does. And these cut paper, vinyl, and heat transfer material for iron-ons. And you can see, have you seen this wizard? That machine cut out those letters for me. So you design them on the computer, and then you can make crafts out of them. Over here, we've got a button maker. So we can make one and a half, one and a quarter inch buttons and everything in here is free to use except if you're going to bring materials home with you. So for example, buttons are 10 cents. We have um, CDs and DVDs for sale as well for 25 cents each because we have conversion equipment. Right here is our VHS DVD converter as well as our DVD duplicator. So this is what some of our most popular equipment. We also can convert cassette tapes, vinyl albums. We put them into iTunes and we can burn them on CDs. We have a couple scanners here so we can scan in photographs, documents, as well as 35 millimeter film and slides, as well as other size of camera film. We can burn DVDs and Blu-ray discs. We've got can, um, microphones, we have a Wacom drawing tablet, we've got stand-up mics and podcasting mics. We even have sewing machines for you to use and we'll be starting to circulate knitting needles and crochet hooks this summer. We have a photo backdrop with three different color uh, backdrops. We have an iron and an ironing board. We just have so much stuff in here. You can see our big beautiful green screen wall. Um, for green screening we've been having a couple of um, teen programs with the green screen. We do have a few spaces left. We have one program on the 28th, so go ahead and sign up for that. And anybody who is a New Lenox Library card holder can use the lab, as well as some, anybody in Prairie Cat. And what that means is we are in a partnership with a bunch of libraries. Mokina, Manhattan are included in that, and you can use the lab as well. And anybody seventh grade and up can use the lab by themselves. Um, minors have to have parents permission and then anybody younger than seventh grade ha just has to have a guardian with them and again my name is Ashley and you can come in and ask me any questions that you've got 
And I'm she's on an here. Awesome. Yeah. She's <laughs> awesome in the studio media lab. She taught me how to sew. I had no idea. I came in here for a class and I'm walking out sewing. Yep. So it's awesome. Yeah. It's like come in here if you're at all creative or you just want to come check it out and see how to be creative. It's like come in here, there's something for everybody. So Ashley is excellent at teaching. She'll be very patient with you and teach you everything you need and to know. I can get you started on every piece, piece and, of equipment in this lab, computers, Button maker, sewing, knitting. She's a crafter. We'll she knows do. how to do it yep, all. We'll so move on. we'll definitely yeah. um, want to contact Ashley if yes. you come into the digital media lab. Okay, so now I'm gonna, you know, finish the upper level here. We have our DVDs and music right over here. We have quite a variety of DVDs, so come check it out. Remember you'll find the new releases downstairs, but all the rest of them are up here. So that's where this is. Um, I want to show you one more time again the prizes that you can win for the summer reading because we have a nice case here filled with awesome prizes. There's weekly raffles. So all you need to do is sign up and you have a chance to win all these wonderful prizes. Mm -hmm. And you want to sign up as, as early as you can and get as many uh, rows done as you can because these are, you do get to pick your own prize. So some of this stuff is going to be gone if you don't come in early. And to sign up. To sign up. Right. Yep. And it's sign free. up. It's free to it's sign up. All it's free. super easy. And um, you know, family game nights, going for a walk with everybody together, reading to your kids. It's all um, a part of the summer reading yeah, challenge. Yeah, so there's a, there's a lot of things you can do in the summer reading challenge. So I would like to conclude our tour by inviting all of you to come join us for our summer finale party. It's August 5th from 12 to 2. We're going to have music. We're going to have games for the kids. We're going to have hot dogs. It's going to be a blast. It's be awesome. We're really excited. It's carnival kind of theme. So come on out to August 5th. But before that, come on out to the library and check it out. We have so much here to offer, and it's so much fun. So we hope to see you real soon. Ashley, thanks for joining us. Thanks it was awesome. Me. Michelle, flip it around. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank She's you. an awesome director. Come in and visit her. So thanks, everybody. Have a great day.